and welcome back to another video. This time I'm dying of heat. Yeah, uh, so I got a fan here. It is really hot in England right now. Uh, well, at least for us, it is. Um, so yeah, if if I make a few mistakes, my brain is currently melting from the heat. So yeah, uh, I might make a mistake here and there because my like I said, my brain is melting. Um, Today we will be looking at Beyond Survival. Uh, now, this is probably going to be one of the biggest or like longest reviews I've done. I don't know if it's going to surpass Tinker's Construct because that took like almost four hours. I think it took to record. Uh, well, the video in total like, ended up being like almost four hours. So, yeah, I don't know if this is going to take as long. But it is probably uh, just as sizable as Tinker's. Ah, here we go, we've got the guidebook right here. Button's not helping much, it is blown cool air, I mean, but it's still not super cool. God, I should have gotten the air conditioner off Amazon. Anyway, Beyond Survival by Picky. Pai Kai? Pikai. Pikon? What that? Pikon? That's Pikor. I have no idea. Built by. Uh. The... Too hard to be reading those names. Explore a world where opportunities are more than infinite to refer. Brand new mobs, items, and blocks. Everything may look the same, but isn't it? With every uh, step, you'll discover something new. Perhaps a view to the uh, shining sky will reveal beautiful beardies, or a walk through the forest will introduce new curious friends. Can't wait to see your face when you find all the new risks of each biome. Well, I mean, not like most mobs. Uh, ha it's not uh, like most mobs have new variants in the desert, snowy biomes, or even the mesa. Well, also... Reinforce your tools. Uh, destroy blocks faster and let your tools survive longer. I guess that just means it's got more, they got more geography. Let's find out what you can craft. Not just that, that uh, but also new weapons to fight the mobs. If you uh, like ice, fire, or withers, uh, those uh, weapons will uh, be ideal for you. Uh, new uh, dangers are everywhere. Okay, okay, let me warn you. Uh, yes, the zombie skeletons, spiders, and even cre the creepers have uh, new variants all around the world. You can find them in the cold biomes and hot ones that burn you to death. Don't know to think they are easy just because you uh, are uh, familiar. You don't need to know them, but they all know you. A few explode like a meteor, others move at the speed of light. I heard there's a blue zombie that uh, thinks he's an enderman. Or maybe it's fungi effect, I don't know. But to worry you not, there are a lot of uh, brand new blocks to craft uh, your on your adventure and uh, to protect yourself from dangers. Gold bricks, uh, calcite pillars, and even at clouds, so there are over 90 blocks to craft. Have fun. Yes, Beyond Survival will transform the way, way you see survival forever, especially with all of those uh, new eyes looking at you. New items helping you uh, make your way, and the, the blocks that will uh, never leave your home. Get ready and have fun. Embrace uh, the thrill of discovery. Yeah? And the excitement of adventure beyond survival awaits. So dive into a world where every step is a new experience. Okay, so not so. Yeah, this is just a basic uh, vanilla book with just uh, with just like uh, text in it, like just an MBT data. Um, now I would have liked it if there was like. A proper guide and not just an instruct so this is yeah this isn't a really a guide this is just an introduction really I would have liked a proper you know guide to this world so I'm gonna have to go into creative well, actually no I don't have to go into creative what I can do is I can just 
go into the crafting table. Ten craftable. Wait. Oh, you can get different types of torches. You can make. So yeah, you can get back. So I assume you get back from a dog. No hit. Um, from stripping logs. Uh, do I have any logs in my storage? No logs there. Got some logs here. Place the logs down. Yep, and it was exactly right. Yep, you get to oak back. Well, you get back from the stripping logs. You can make you can make wooden armor. So let's let's get a bunch of this actually. Bunch more. Missed a couple. Alright, so now we have 52 back. Yeah, get a fair bit of back. So, uh, shoulders, knees, and twos. That's really low durability, only 70 durability. Anyway, it is literally like wooden armor. Uh, oh, wow, that's a pro. That's. Uh, gives you a fair bit of protection. That's one, two, three, four, five and a half bars of armor. Do I have a set of iron armor on one of these? Sure. Yeah. So let me go just give myself go to game mode one. So let's get some iron armor real quick. That's three, four, five and a half. Okay, so it is a bit less than iron armor because iron gives you one, two, three, four, five. I think that's six and a half. Seven. No, ten. So hold on, it's a bit hard to count them because they're all like one, two, three. Get down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, seven and a half. So it is a bit less than iron armor, which is good. I was really starting to get a bit uh, concerned that it. Was it. The boots are the same. Leggings are one less. The chest plate is one less. And the helmet is the same as iron. But it has a far less durability, which is the kind kind of a trade off. Which is a bit of a trade off there. Um. But yeah. Uh, if you're just starting off, get a just get a wooden axe. Uh, if you have this, make a wooden axe, strip some uh, trees, and get to yourself uh, wood armor. And it, uh, uh, you can uh, you can still use the use the strip logs to make planks. There's not really a reason to not do that. Let's see, uh... Oh wait, I put... Ah! I put the... Back, back in there. Is there anything else we can do with the back? Uh... Oh, you can unstrip the logs, which is... A, which is a thing, I guess, I don't know. Ah, so you can make a re... You can reinforce your wooden tools with it. So you can make a reinforced wooden axe, wooden hoe, Wooden pick and wooden shovel. You can't make a reinforced wood reinforced wooden sword with it though. Wood then wood wood. Wood M. Rien. Rien. 
So you can make reinforced diamond axe, so that's just an axe surrounded by that, by that, by diamonds. They're surrounded by gold ingots, and they're surrounded by iron ingots. And then the netherite is surrounded by four, uh, eight scraps and four gold ingots. And then you have the uh, reinforced tools all here. And you have the stone, which is just it's surrounded with cobblestone. Now there's not reinforced swords by the looks of it. Let's have a look at swords. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we have the frost sword, which is a stick, glacial shard, frost essence, and a pyro sword. Which is a blaze rod and infernal embers. Um, now I, I don't know exactly where you get you get them, but apparently you can do that. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's see what else can we find in here that's new. Well, I just don't recognize. Uh, those are from the damage indicators. Okay, cool. Uh, da -ba 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 -ba. Yeah. Got boats, buttons, redstone stuff. Got them. Got these. Got things. Got that from Tinkers. So this is. Oh, so this is some new stuff. So we got yellow painted planks. So you can paint planks by getting planks and a die. So let's do that. Let's get some. I don't know if it has to be oak planks, but I've got the most oak. Uh, I got a bunch of oak planks. And let's get. Uh, do we have any dye in here? No. So let's get some flowers. Let's get some blue dye. One, two, three, four. Dark blue painted planks. Four. Now this is a highly like requested feature that I'm pretty sure Mojang has confirmed they will never add. Oh, but that, do that does look nice. Oh, my Omni tool doesn't work on them. Uh, yeah, well, that's a uh, problem for the uh, uh, that I can't remember the name of the add-on. Well, the add-on that, that comes from to fix, not the it's not uh, this add-on's problem. Oh anyway, yeah, I have a diamond axe on me. Oh, but it does seem to take longer to mine than the normal than the normal planks. I guess that is a bit of a trade-off when you die them. And I would assume you can do this with any like type of planks, but I can't confirm that. Because uh, I, I don't know, and I'm not going to spend an hour testing it out. Because we've got, we've got things to do. Right, so we're down, go back down here. So as you can see, you can then... Oh, all gold bricks! Yeah, it, it, said, it did say you can make gold bricks. Uh, but I don't know where gold bricks are. Ooh, you can make granite brick slabs, you can make diorite brick slabs, you can make... Wait, ooh, brick. So, let's see... Oh, you can make snow bricks now with four snow. Now, that, that, that's actually good for, like, um... Whatchamacallit. Uh... An igloo, because an igloo isn't just made out of like big cubes of snow, it's made, I believe they make out of like breaks of snow, maybe? I don't know. How they make it. Uh, uh, oh! And you can make iron bricks with two iron ingots and two iron nuggets. So yeah, that's pretty good for um, an ice bricks with four packed ice. There you go, you got calcite bricks, you've got diorite bricks. Let's take a look at the diorite bricks uh, and granite bricks. Because uh, this brick texture you're seeing for the uh, Andestrai and Granite and Diorite is a texture pack from 
Uh, vanilla treats. I have on. Uh, on my universe, on like my universal um, texture packs, and it is really, and I do really like it. Uh, but this adding it is a bit different. Boom, boom, boom. So we've got diorite, granite, uh, and just right, sorry, and granite. And of course, yeah, my tool doesn't work for these. I need to get a regular pickaxe. Um, here we go. Yeah, these. Yeah, they're uh, not the same brick uh, texture as like normal bricks. I do actually like uh, this. I do think that they. Right, so I can kind of. Oh, they drop. Okay, there is a bug where they drop two. I don't know if that's because my world's buggy or what. But um, I kind of have mixed feelings about these being different to the other bricks. I do get why if you're a builder, you'd want uh, them to. Uh, look the same as the other bricks because uh, then it's e easier to like um, like mix them in with them. But I also like the fact that they are just different and it gives you like um, more texture to play around with. So I don't know. It's you know it, it's kind of like 50-50 on whether you like the change or not. I guess. Um, let me just check what the notification is. Ah. Oh, hold on, I've got to take uh, this message real quick. Okay, I'm back. I uh, also had the idea of shoving a ice pack down my top. So yeah, I've got an ice pack to keep me cool. So that's just going to be down my top. Keeping me nice and cold. Oh. Right, so. Uh... Yeah, I was just taking a look at some of the bricks. So you can make a bunch of like uh, new bricks and slabs. Got calcite, you got blackstone, brick slabs, iron bricks. Can you make iron brick? Yeah, you can make iron brick slabs. You got gold bricks. You got uh, yeah, understand. Yeah. Anyway. Oh. Let's go down. Uh, I think this is all tinkers. I don't know, fake deep sea, that's uh, yeah, light blue painted clubs are uh, new. That's from uh, uh, granite pillar, that's new. You take two granite, you make so let's see, pill. So you can make granite pillar, gold pillar, diorite pillar, deep slate pillar, calcite. And so you get a bunch of new building blocks, basically. Iron pillar. Like, I'm no good at building. Like, uh, if you wanna, if you wanna get say builders and uh, opinion on that, go. I don't know who to ask about that, but you know, you probably know a uh, someone who's better at building than me. Uh, does YouTube? You might wanna. Uh, there's one neverite block. Oh yeah, that's from Tinkers. I didn't know you could do that. Okay. I think he's got deep. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, those are from the uh, essentials add-on. Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit all messed up. Uh, let's see. All these are probably just more tinkers. Yeah. Flying sling. Yeah. Ah, here we go, we've got like new arms here. Come on then, Lily, up, ups. I gave Lily some frozen treats I made. Yeah, oh, you got Dark Oak, bitch. You got all the different torches. You got the reinforced tools. You got jungle, mangrove. There's the oak, pyro sword. Oh, ah, cold. Got the reinforced tools. 
No way, that's the shard. How do you make the tools? Oh, you, t you, m you m get the shard and make put the shard with the tool. Must have missed that earlier. So yeah, you get that and then you put that with that. Okay. So it's a bit more expensive than I thought. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be a ton added in the way of items and armor. But it did say it added new mobs. So if I do someone on. Uh, I don't know what a uh, zombie. So if I do zombie, there's zombie, zombie horse, pigman villager, Minecraft zombie, Minecraft zombie horse. Um, PD zombie. No, that's the dummy. Game mode one E spawn. Let's see. Um, puffer fish. Ah. Cool shot. I haven't. I think the. Oh. Yeah. So. Oh, so it's hip kai. So if I do something pip kai, someone no, oh, it would help if I did that. Someone hip kai. No. Oh yeah, there is hip. Pipkai, not Pipkai. So let's do this. So we've got the Arboreal Archer. I probably shouldn't do this right next to my story system, but yeah, he poisons you. And he's just a skeleton, but he poisons you, which, yeah, that's basically what the bog is, but yeah, you can't even count uh, Let's do this outside just in case something gets blued up. So a boil archer, bloom stalker. So this is the new a new creeper. I need to I'm gonna need to repair that later. I guess any all, all the creepers just blow up and do damage. What armor am I? I am with my stupid armor as well. I did a lot of damage. So let's see what this guy drops. Ah, Ooh. yeah, just gunpowder. Would be cool if they had unique drops. Oh. Uh, also, we've got ghosts spawning at night. Ah, what was that? What is that? It's like a rock thing under the ground. Where's my golden carrots? There's my golden carrots. Yeah, you got rock things under the ground here. Stabby, 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 stab, die, die, die. These things are hard to kill. Ow. Oh, they got diamonds. You're here to my villagers, dude. Ooh, he drops a bunch of stuff. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, and he's just, I think he's destroying stuff. As well, how, why can't I hit him? Why can I not hit you? Oh, well, he's... Oh, yeah, they do destroy blocks. That's annoying. Die. Okay, I can't hit him for some reason. Oh, he's dead. Okay, I'm just going to leave him alone. There are, like, two more there, but they dropped, like, Corrupted Essence and Diamonds. What can I do with Corrupted Essence? Also, I should mention I really, really don't like it when... Uh, or when they add mobs that destroy stuff like... A creeper variant, sure, you know what? That creeper's gonna destroy something, but... 
Adding, yeah, I just don't like it when they add mobs that destroy your builds. Uh, what can I do with corrupted essence? Hold on, let me chuck the diamonds out. Hey, there was that. Ah, hold on. Go away, diamonds. I don't want you. That axe there. Hold on. Corrupted battle axe. There's a river rose, a charred bone, and three corrupted essence to get corrupted battle axe that does eight damage. Oh. oh. That seems like the only thing you can do with it. And Lily's wind and cut. Come on then. Come on then, Lily. There you go. Right, can you die? Oh, yeah, he's low on health. And he's dead. Diamond stone. Okay, what? Next. So we had the Arboreal Archer, Bloomstalk, and now we've got the Bog Spinner, which is a swamp spider, I guess. Oh, it's not half sale to me because it's daytime. Let me hit it. Okay, yeah, it poisons you. It's Cave Spider, but in the swamp biome. Oh, and a bit bigger. God, these guys spawn a lot. Maybe turn down the spawn on these big rock dudes. Don't believe so if they're going to destroy stuff. So, uh, boy, I'll have a balloon stalk, a box spinner. We have Cactoid, which is Cactus Creeper. That just explodes and destroys stuff. Um, how am I going to get out of here? I'm just going to stay down here, I guess. So if I stab him up, he... Ooh, he has a unique drop! He dropped cactus spikes. Let's see what these are used for. Oh, they really made a mess of this area. Stab, 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 stab. He's not dying. Still. I think that one broke. Could be because of the armor, could be because my world just breaks add-ons for some reason. Well, not all add-ons, but some add-ons. So, ah, huh. Doesn't seem like you can use them to craft anything. Cat. Yeah, that's odd. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what you do with them. Maybe they're an in-development feature and that the, they've just been added, but they're going to add functionality later, like, I don't know, a cactus spike sword or something. That might be cool, though. A cactus spike sword. Yeah, there's three more of the bunch more of them over there. Alright. What's after Cactoid is the Sermite Weaver. Which is a spider that oh, it doesn't seem to do anything special. Let's see what it drops. Nothing special. Okay. Play more revenances next. Ah, uh, it's a zombie. Doesn't have any special effect when it hits ya. 
and it drops rotten flesh and yeah so that's just a zombie texture zombie. There's nothing wrong with like, just having variants of existing mobs. There's a thing that's cool in my opinion. After Claymore Revenants there's Cleeper. Which is just a clay creeper. I mean, maybe you should have the clay mobs drop clay. Or oh, bricks. Rim. And there's a crimper, which is a crimson creeper. What do we have next? So, okay, Cleeper, uh, Grimter, and we have Dummy. Which didn't summon. Hmm, can you craft a Dummy? Hold on. Uh, I missed that. There's part there's almost the only stuff I did miss. Dummy. So, with the target dummy, target dummy, target dummy, target dummy. Yeah, just the target dummies from the health bars add on. So, I don't know what's with the dummy. Maybe it's an unfinished, again, probably could be just unfinished because I am just using G to summon it in, so it could be something in development. But they've not quite finished yet. Oh, he's a bit bugged. Uh, what's after dummy? Uh, Lamcha, which is a Skeleton variant that drops the uh, charred bones, which you need to use to make the corrupted uh, axe. And they turn into coal. No, that's actually pretty good. We like uh, the river skeletons that drop uh, char uh, drop coal. They don't give you the wither effect, which is probably a good thing because wither skeletons with power bows, yeah, then no, that would be way too OP. And you have the Frost Fellow, which is like an ice zombie. That drops uh, two new things. It drops the Glacial Shard, which I think we saw earlier, and the Cold Rotten Flesh. You cook the Cold Rotten Flesh, you get regular Rotten Flesh. Uh, would be good. Should I have some of those bones and I could put some coal in there. I think I've got coal in here. Here we are. Yeah, you can cook it. And you get rotten flesh. Can you cook rotten flesh into something? Nope. Don't know if you can eat this. Probably not, possibly not, I don't know. And Glacial Shard. That allows you to craft the Frost Sword that we saw earlier. Now I just need to, need to find out what drops the Frost Distance. We can get a 7 attack damage sword. It does as much damage as a Diamond Sword, unenchanted. I think Neverite does 8. Hold on. Team mood one. Oh, it would help if I ah hit the right buttons. Game mood one. Uh, there will be fine. I think. No, uh, well, it will be fine if I just boop boop. There we go. Oh, it does not like that. Mm. 
That's odd. Why are you not working? Because I'm uncreative. No. Just not happy. Don't know why. I'm just gonna fly back up here then. Alright, let's uh, move on to the next mob. So that was the Frost Fellow. Frost after F. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I could have just. Yeah, we saw a ghost earlier. There's a glacial shark. Yeah. God damn it. The glacial sharder. It didn't. Oh, I could have. I would have thought that would have dropped the uh, other thing that you needed to craft the sword. Okay, you instantly collected the drops and then they drops. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just a very rare drop. I don't know. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, D, H. Right, still on G, aren't I? G. There's a golem, which I'm pretty sure is these big stone guys. Yep. Stab, stab, dead. You kill them while they're standing up, which is a which is good advice if you find one. The wind fuser. Which is a smiley creeper. <laughs> Looks like it spawns in the uh, in the warped fungus biome. And E F G H I. And we have the is the I don't know. Ice Spider! Stab Ice Spider! Ice Spider doesn't drop anything unique. Then we have the Iguana. Ah! That's a cool little goo, dude. Doesn't drop anything, so don't bother killing them. Infernoid. Never some fire zombie, basically. Ah! Another ghost. H I J K L M. Here we go. Oh, another zombie variant. Uh, H I J K L M N. Nylon skeleton. M N M N O. P got the pad walker, another skeleton variant. Oh, it dropped something new. It dropped a lily pad essence. What can I do with the lily pad essence? Ah. Well, I imagine you would be able to craft lily pads with lily pad essence. Sausage fingers. There's a pad walker, then we have the pine warbler, warbler, pine warbler. Oh, little birdie. Oh, that's adorable. It's dead. Doesn't drop anything, so don't bother killing it. 
Then we have the Pyro Noise, which is Fire Spider, really big. Oh, it survived a hit. Doesn't drop anything unique. It would be cool if it dropped like Fire String, you could use that Fire String to make Fire Bows. Like in uh, Java's uh, Tinker's Construct. Okay, what's that? P M N O P Q R S. Here we go. We have the Sand Stalker, which is a uh, desert skeleton. Another body ghost. Okay. We have the Scarlet Angel. Oh, this is your beardy. I'm just going to assume it doesn't drop anything. Yeah, we should go away. How much is annoying as phantoms? And you have the Scorch Rant. Desert Spider. Doesn't drop anything special. Then you have the Serpentine Shambler. Zombie. Variant, I don't know where that spawns. And Silt Blaster. Ah, it's a creeper. Oh, I should have guessed that from name. M N O P Q R S T. Another skeleton variant, doesn't drop anything. F M N O P S T U. U S T U V Venomous Web Spinners Poison Spider Ooh, but he drops poison sacks. That's cool. Yeah, Ven Jungle Venom Sack. M N O P Q L S T V W. We got the Warpler. Oh, that's the zombie that was mentioned earlier. And they don't like to stay in one place. There we go. And they just drop rotten flesh. And we've got the Warp Weaver, which is a warped forest version of a spider. W M N O P Q R S T U V W X. Y and Z. Okay, that's all the mobs I can summon. Uh, this does add a lot of cool things to it. Again, I have said that my problem is that the golems do destroy things, and they, and especially with like how much HP they have, like if one spawns in your base. Yeah, gonna be a bit unlucky because it's probably gonna destroy something. Um, now, I don't know, like, it's a bit hard to tell whether I've covered everything, pro everything because, well, I've not found like the other way to get that thing, so. This does a lot more than what. Right, the problem, the reason why I would like a um, like proper guidebook instead of just an introduction book. It's because right now I don't know if I have shown off everything. A guidebook would let me would just be like, hey, here's what's in the add-on, how to craft it, and uh, yeah, you can use them to craft. Uh, oh, that's just because I have those arrows on me uh, to craft the poison arrows, but I assume that if you have like regular arrows on you, you can do that as well. I uh, we have some regular arrows here. Yep, there you go. Poison eyes. So yeah, I could uh, recommend this, uh, but my only... Yeah, I can recommend this, even, it, even though it is a bit hard because I don't know exactly what's in it and it's a bit hard for me to really tell, I can recommend it because it, from what I see, it does enhance the survival experience enough. Uh, Ghosts seem to only spawn at night time, so you might want to be careful with them. I've got night vision, so I it, I can't see the darkness. 
But they do make the night time a lot more dangerous and I don't think they can go through walls. I don't, I didn't see one go through a wall. Uh, I would definitely also really lower down the spawn rate on these golems because they have a lot of HP because it takes a minute for me to even kill them and I do like 50 damage per hit with my sword and my strength 4. So how many hits? So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, five, 4 hits to kill it. So it, and if I'm doing about 50 damage per hit that means it has... Uh, yeah, it has about 200 HP, which I'm pretty sure the Ender Dragon also has 200 HP, so yeah, the spawn rate on the Golem should be lowered. Oh, ow. Or maybe make them not hostile, but a neutral mob. Make it so that, um, you know, they just like stay in their rock form, uh, unless you like hit them with like a pickaxe, and then uh, if you like hit, hit them with a pickaxe and it activates them, and then they fight you. That might be a uh, good uh, uh, solution to that problem. Um, but yeah. Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. It adds a bunch of blocks for building. It adds a bunch of new torches, which uh, is, in my opinion, is really cool because that means you can like. Uh, the torches actually now can be more decorative rather than just the I the, just like the lighting method you use before you have enough resources to use something else like uh, sea lanterns or um, or uh, lan your regular lanterns. Why did I call that nothing? Anyway, uh, but why would also add is more why would I add is like more torch variants that would be cool like stone uh so like make it so so you can make uh, stone sticks using cobbles you can make cobblestone sticks stone sticks and like stone brick sticks you could use those sticks to make uh, um torches and then you could use the uh, stone stick those sticks to also make like uh swords and pickaxes and stuff so like if you're down, and that's also good. Like if you're down in the mine and you went out of torches, you can use some cobblestone or deep cobble deep slate. You'll just do it for deep slate, and then uh, craft up more torches with like the coal you get, and then you can just keep on mining. But yeah, other than that, um, I don't. I got that. I don't think there's anything else I want to really talk about. Okay, he's working now. Working now. He's attacking me now, but I can't kill him still. That's annoying. Um. But yeah. Um. I yeah can recommend this, and it has a lot of room. It like I can't because this is just basically the idea. Of this is just basically. Um. Just enhancing the base survival experience for like new, uh, like mob variants and stuff like that. It, um, I really do like it. Uh, like it, and it has a lot of room for expansion, so uh, yeah. Um, they've pretty much killed all my villagers by the looks of it. Well, not all of them, because I've still got iron golems spawning. So yeah, that's another, that's another reason why these guys should either not spawn near the other... They, like these, these golden guys, they really do need to be... Um, like, nerfed. Uh, rebalancing, but... That's my... Uh, that's the only re really major complaint I have about this. Um, oh, what I want to do real quick, before I forget... Game mode 1... I want to get some of the tools so I could have like re in. I like the reinforced tools, so I want to get that. And then I, I added the sword. Added some swords. Yeah, I added the swords and it added the axe. Uh, there it is. So I want to make sure if whether or not these can be enchanted. 
Because um, if they can't be enchanted, then that's a really big downside, in my opinion. One, two, three, four. So these have like literally every enchantment possible on them. Yeah, the reinforced tools can, the frost sword can, the pyro sword can, and the corrupted battle axe can. Ah, it can. Oh yeah, so yeah, I also assume it's like also functions as a regular battle axe. Yeah, it's yeah. You can enchant them. So that is a really uh, cool, yeah, really big thing that uh, yeah. It, in my opinion, that in my opinion, if you can't enchant tools, then they're not really worth making, for the most part. Like, um, you couldn't enchant the multi-block pickaxe when it was originally introduced, but it did a big three by three area. So, in my opinion, that's what made it worth uh, crafting initially. And now it can be enchanted as well. Um, and the only tool just being an axe, pickaxe, and shovel, and all rolled into one was so the, re the reason why to craft. And then, it, then they added enchanting. Later, so yeah. Uh, but yeah, it is just cool to have them in the tentacle. So yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, well, at least everything I've noticed. Um, yeah. So to wrap it all up, uh, you know, make it so golems are. Uh, neutral or don't do damage to the environment or just something that like and also reduce their spawn rate um add a proper guidebook this is just an introductory book book despite its name we need a proper guidebook to tell us what is that what exactly is in it and what to, they do and how to get them and all that um and yeah also uh the stone uh sticks or Wads or whatever you want to call them. Uh, recipe, please. Uh, more torches. It's always cool to have like more torch variants. Anyway, I hope you guys all did enjoy this video. I hope to see you guys in the next video where hopefully I won't be dying from the heat. And this actually didn't take as long as I thought. Anyway, bye bye. Also, quick note while I was just uh, uh, checking the. Uh, the uh, marketplace page for it. it does say 90 new plus new items. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I didn't show for all the new items, so I, I probably will definitely missed a bunch of stuff. I think I got all the new mobs, uh, mob variants, and new mobs with unique gameplay. Uh, I probably didn't. I said I didn't really touch the blocks because I'm not a builder, so I don't really know. I can't. There's much I can, not much I can say about them. So, uh, but I don't know. So yeah, there is a, definitely a lot more to like explore and do in this. Uh, might do some live streams, just, just focus around this add-on at some point. Uh, but yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and bye bye.